Good evening everybody and welcome to Try It Out Tuesday. Okay, so this evening the stamps have been selected by Sta Sam. Sam, Sam. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the Creativity Words, both the XL and the regular size. Okay, and we're also going to be using the Compass Tracks and the Under Construction. Now, with the sale obviously now come to an end and we are now back on regular turf as it were what sam and i have done i'm trying to reorganize my lights it looks a bit dark and i'm not really sure what i've got so much light in here it's ridiculous um anyway um yeah, what we've done is we have already set up the Wednesday Wow for tomorrow. So, if you are watching this live, that does mean that you are getting... I'm not sure we'll be able to do it every week, but you are getting a forewarn of the Wednesday Wow for tomorrow. Which is all of these stamps will be 40% off. Okay? Um, also, just a bit of clarification. Oh, look, there's loads of you there already. Hiya. Um just a bit of clarification because somebody said it was ambiguous which is you know a really good word but it's really not um all be crafty stamps on the be crafty website are free pmp okay so it doesn't matter where you're ordering from or or how many you order all the stamps are free pmp all the time okay postage charges only come in once you start adding other stuff to your basket okay if it's just stamps it's free pmp all the time okay so these are the four we're using tonight if i get to use all four um and um they are the wednesday well for this week okay oh jan lochran hello you crafty dafties i'm sure she must be talking to sam because obviously it can't be me right so we'll just scoop them up so they are on and this is what we're going to be using um, because what Sam and I are trying to do, you can see, mine, they're all a bit mucky. Um, what Sam and I are trying to do is focus on stamps that maybe, you know, we can, and you guys do too, I'm sure. You get caught up in using the new stuff and playing with new things and whatever. Which is one of the reasons um, I've got Sam involved in terms of picking what I do on my lives so that she can sort of lead me a little bit in where i should go sam look how clean my mat is i know i cleaned it specially specially right so shall we crack on and start doing some crafting now the creativity words so the compass tracks sorry we'll do this one first is one really big stamp okay it's got the compass in the corner let me grab the other one actually so you can see it because i don't know where my backing card is okay i'll take that price ticket off because that's not relevant to you at all um it's got the compass in the corner so this is one of my digital collages okay so we've got the script all in the background we've got some paint spatter the compass the tire tracks you know, and it is one big stamp. So if you use Super Skinny Slims, you will need your biggest one for this, okay? Um, because it's big. Um, and Sam selected the under construction because that's got the individual trial tracks, which go so well with it. And then on your creativity words, of which I have multiple sets, which implies I at one point lost them. <laughs> um... You have creativity, imagination, artistry, inspiration, live, laugh, dream, expression, idea, create, art. And they're in this sort of typewriter font, which I absolutely love. Um, sort of like a vintage typewriter font. And that's them in the Excel. So it depended on the size of your project. But I don't know about you, a lot of the time I tend, I can sometimes go with the big ones on a small project and then piece together the small ones on a big project. It's not always the way you think it's going to be that the small ones go on a small project. But there you are. That's just probably me being random of all things. <laughs> you know, you know. Oh, hi, everybody. I'm, honestly, the comments have gone quite quick already. Hello, everybody. Right, so what I have done is I have actually cut a layer um, for the first card. All right, and then after that, we'll be flying by the seat of our pants because I like doing that. 
and I can fly a long way because I've got big pants. Right. Now, I am actually going to work on a piece of card, I think, because I'm going to go in with my compass track. So this is, I'm going to say, a this size card. It's not actually a size. It's so, I suppose it's C6. But it's, no, it's bigger than C6, but it's an ish. And it's a temp fold. So I've cut a layer that will go on that. Alrighty. So I'm going to pull this off my acetate and get my biggest super skinny slim, which is this one. Would you like the measurements? I don't know what they are. What are you guys asking? This big by this big. Nuts. Is your verse, is that? No, it's not. It's not my verse fine Claire. It's just my verse fine. My verse fine Claire is still MIA. And don't even get me started on trying to get stock in at the minute or oh, crying out loud. Anyway, stamps are here, so that's good. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to create a sort of solid one big background piece. Okay, now like I say, you can see this is quite big. It's just, it's just under A5 in size. Okay, so that you can see your super skinny slims just over A5 in size. This is just under. Okay, so we're going to ink that up, and I'm fully aware this is a massive layer. So there's two ways you can do this if you're using your super skinny slims. You can either stamp onto it, or you can put the card on here and brayer it. Both are good. I have mixed results with both, so I'm going to try it this way first, and if it doesn't work, I'll do it the other way, basically. But because it is such a big stamp, I will stamp landscape, even though I want it portrait, because it's a massive stamp, and doing it that way, I could, you could do yourself a mischief, basically. And who's got time for that? Okay, so I'm going to ink up the whole thing, um, because let's face it, who knows where it's going to land. Right, so I'm going to ink all over with my Versafine, and then I'll go back the same way, and then I'll go across there. Making sure there is ink in all the right places. Right. I'm going to go on here. I'm going to go right about there. Okay. Now with this, I am just going to flex just a little. Because like I say, it is one big stamp. Just do a little push. Okay. There we go. So Sam has put on the 210 by 160 is this super skinny slim. So it's, you know, big, 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 big. Okay. So we'll lift that off. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. So it's one of those things. The stamp as a whole can look quite intimidating, but very similar to what I say. I've got a hair on it there. Oh well, I've got lots. Um, but you can see it makes a wonderful background paper on section. So it, that size, let me get my ruler. Let me get my ruler out. Okay. So up to a five by five layer, you've got a complete background paper there. You know, because look, it's, it's just perfect as it is. You don't need to add anything else on if you don't want to. And I'm not going to. I'm going to show you. Because Sam gave me a little challenge to do something monochrome with no colour on it. I don't think she thinks I can. To be fair, I'm not sure I can either. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we're going to... Put on so you can see you could put that on and that'd be lovely or you can go on a black layer I'm now not sure I like which one I like Sam's challenged me to go monochrome so I am going to put the black layer in okay so let's just I'm going to use some red tape because you know these thingies that I've been using yeah they're rubbish everything falls apart I have to go back and restick Okay, I'm just going to put some red tape on. I hope we've all had a reasonably good Tuesday. Weeks are flying by. 
days are going ridiculously quickly. It's like I can't work out which one's which. Um, while I'm sticking this down, I will tell you the journaling girls hour that was supposed to be on last month but didn't go ahead because of the... Oh, sorry, I'm just having a look at the comments. That didn't go ahead because of sample lossage, shall we go with? Sam sample non-arrival. Um, that is going ahead on Friday. That's the wrong place. Um, at 10 a.m. Okay, so I will be Skyping into the studio. Um, well, that's the plan at the minute, but you know. Um, so yeah, I'll be Skyping in and that journaling girl show is going to go ahead then. Okay. Your Yorkie Pip heard my dulcet tones and is now watching your live. Ah, oh, Pip, 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 Pip. There we go. Just drive Tracy's dog nuts. Right. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put this black layer on some 3D foam. So this is quite, like I say, guys, this is quite a quick, simple, um, but I think quite pretty, um, especially considering the subject, um, card. Now, this is, like I say, I'm mainly doing this to prove to Sam that I can make a card without starting off with a big mosh of distress ink. I could have put it in the middle. That would have been good. Um, on my mat. You know what it's like, ladies and gents. The minute someone says, I bet you can't. Well, this is probably more one for the ladies, actually. Because fellas are just like, yeah, whatever. Whereas a woman, as soon as you tell them they can't do something, do you want to bet? I don't think so, Sunbeam. Right. <clears throat> anyway, getting carried away. Um, so we can go on there. And I think... Bit of inspiration. So I'm going to grab a piece of white card. So this is the one I cut my layer off. Okay. Or do I go with imagination? I just don't. I don't rightly know. I don't rightly know. Imagination. Okay, so I'm going to use my border. I'll see. I'm going to try tonight mix things up and use the right size skinny slims. For the right size of stamp i'm sure it won't last long but you know something my dad always told me and still tells me is those with goals achieve more than those without okay imagination i've really got to clean my stamps oh yeah i've got something mucky on that one as well look i've got a piece of tape on there and that's why i missed the top of my own yeah, I might have to concede defeat and start cleaning stamps. I cleaned all the blocks last week. I mean, come on. Right. <clears throat> so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to cut this. Yeah, because I want this bit straight anyway. Okay. And then... I think I'm going to make it a flag. So I'm just going to snip into the middle, slip into the middle, flag. Do I layer that up on black? No, I'm not. I was going to, but I'm not now. Um, and this is, you know how I'm talking to you guys now, talking my way through um, what I'm doing um, and whatever. Do you know the scary thing? I do that when you guys aren't here. I still talk my way through it. You know, I have a little word to myself. And I would like to say it's because of lockdown and all that sort of thing that I've started talking to myself, but it's really not. It's a long established thing. It really is. Right. So, here we go. What Dad is talking about those with goals achieve more than those without. Here we go. So I'm just going to put imagination on there. 
And I mean, that, it's just a bit spiffy. I mean, I really like it. I think you could use that for any sort of occasion, really. Um... And, you know, like I said, you could add colours in, you could add in paint spats um, and all that sort of thing. But Sam was very, very clear that she didn't think I could do a clean and simple monochrome card. So here you go. I can do a clean and simple monochrome card as long as I have a nice big stamp to completely cover the paper. Or card. Whatever. So I think that is absolutely fab so the compass tracks i know it's a big stamp i know and i know it's only one stamp so you're like well how much am i going to use it you know how useful is it well one thing it is very 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 useful but like i say if, for those that, that missed it what sam and i have done we have already loaded the wednesday wow which is this stamp the creativity words and the under construction so if there was a time you were thinking i'll treat that to myself at some point 40 percent off with free pmp is the time okay let me just move that to the side but 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 i will say this it's brilliant anyway it's brilliant anyway if you know it's it's wicked but i i do worry it gets overlooked right so let's make something else because that went freakishly quickly and i'm not sure i can take it right let's make a bigger card something a bit larger larger oh that sounded a bit too much like lager and now i'm thirsty right Ooh. So we're going to do this card, which I want to say is a 7x7. Seven seven. I don't think it's big enough to be 8x8. Eight eight. I'm not sure if you guys are bothered, but, you know, it's 6 and something somethings. I'm rubbish with inches. 6 and 6 tenths. Does that mean something? One, two, three. Sure. Just over six and a half. Or six and a half. There you go. Sorted. I actually, I, and the problem is, I pay no attention to card sizes in reality because they don't really affect me. I just cut the layers to fit whatever I've got, and I and I use a lot of these. I get them at shirt the shows, and they're just long panels, and I fold them in half and <clears throat> do things like that. Okie dokie. So, I need a layer for that card, don't I? I don't know if I've got any more that size next to me. Bear with, bear with. Righty ho. Um, that's going to be too small. Where is it? Um, See, this is the problem. Because my first layer was all prepared. Oh, it's all right. I found an 8x8. Eight eight, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the front off that and use that. Ha! So. Let's cut this in half. And then I've got that one. So I think we need to add in some colour to this one. Now, I will say, I do agree with Sam. I do think the black and white that very much sh showcases the compass tracks i think it's you know you can't you can't deny that's a bit fab <laughs> it is a bit fab but what we're going to do is we're going to add in some color to this one once again i meant to get my regular distress inks out of my tote and i didn't so we'll be working with distress oxides it's okay so here we go here we go here we go and I did actually select, the thing is, I'm working tidy, how can I lose things? Here we go. I did select three inkables to use with tonight's stamps because I thought they would work really well. So this is the regular dots, the triangles and stripes and the metal work alpha. I won't, I will not tell you lies and say I have any idea what is about to happen next. But it's going to be okay. Right, so I think I'm going to go with, um, do you know what, I'm just going to grab four, four randoms. Um, okay, 
and pray that they're the right side of the colour wheel. Always be careful with your purples can turn it to mud, but if that happens, then so be it. Okay. You're totally converted to those strips. I'm not really sure what she's talking about. Oh yes, the card. Right. <clears throat> I don't always know what Sam's talking about anyway. It's not like, you know, that's news. Right, well, I'm going to go in with some blue. Spritz on. And do a little heaty heaty. And what I like is doing, I mean, I know I do this regularly, so a lot of you guys will have seen it before, but. You know, what I love about doing this with my mat is you get this sort of colour wash and the sort of direct from ink pad look. It gives you a real mix. Okay, so sorry, I am just back to mopping up. Because I am working my way down my cards. My tags now. So yeah, just grab a tag. And mop that. Okay. And then we'll go in with some Lucky Clover. Okay, I'm going to focus on the edges because that's what looked like it was lacking. This is the thing, it can be random, it can be directed random, it doesn't have to be totally random. You can have a little bit of control over it. Alright. What did I do? Did I say four templates? Is that what I was talking about or did I say four distressing? Sorry. I only have three. I have three ink balls and I have three distress oxides. And I apologise for now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry if I said four. How weird. There we are. Okay, so we're just going to continue adding these together. Now, because I'm not adding a lot of water, a lot, a lot of water, to my oxides, and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to reactivate the layer I've already dried. I want to keep it as is. Okay? So, two down, one more to go. And then we'll start adding in some templates and then some more stamps. Okay. So again, spritz of spray, spray, spray. Um, and then we'll go on. I should do. I was going to say if anybody's got any questions. And then did I say four? I meant to say a few. Grab a few of them. Not four. Um, if anyone's got any questions, please put them on. Sam is here um, to help you with anything. If I miss it, but if I see it. I will, of course, grab it. Mother's there as well. Um, I will say, while I'm quickly doing this, um, the you know, make sure you get yourselves into the Bee Crafty Stamps group and enter this month's challenge. You could win a voucher. Um, so it's worth having a go, isn't it? Right, so that's my background, which has actually come out a lot prettier than I was planning. But that's okay, that's okay. That is okay. Right. And just to really mess with Heidi's mind, she said that my tidying up sort of made her nervous. Whatever. You know, I have arranged all of my blending tools in their box and all the foams have been cleaned. I know. I know. Right, I'm going to focus on the blueprint sketch and the Lucky Clover for templates. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go on with my regular dots, okay? You can offset them if you want to. So, you know, there is lots to play with there. So let me grab some of these. So I'm just gonna do these in random Places. I'm not doing the full 
template I'm just trying to get some different dots in different areas okay and then I'm going to add in some of the green I love this inkable it is also the you do can also get the regular dots in a dinkable as well if you are if you are more liking the dinkables rather than the bigger six by sixes but i will say this one's really really handy for embossing it gives you a nice sort of background paper do you remember like the basil the dotted swiss very good okay so we'll put that template to the side and then we'll go in with some stripes so what i'm doing you see is i'm mixing up some sort of regular shapes and then i'm going to go in with a metalwork alpha in a more complicated stamp okay so it's just to really just add some interest in make your backing paper basically put some stripes there you see i haven't re-inked my foam then you get the varied tone okay also i will say as well if you are suffering from mojo which i know i've been talking about and i know a lot of people have been um struggling with and it's something i have dis discussed before um re reasonably regularly at the minute if you are suffering from mojo have a go at making some background papers that way they're not for anything yet just have a go at making some background papers like these and then when you want to do some layering up got some pretty background papers but what it may, might do don't do it for this reason because otherwise it won't work what it might do is kickstart your mojo give you a leaping off point you know you might get into making your backing paper and go oh yeah i know what i want to do with that now you never know I've got nothing to lose anyway okie dokie so then i'm going to go back in Hmm, I'm wondering what colour. I think with the blueprint sketch. I'm deciding blue. Blue is it. And I'm going to add in some of these numbers around here. And then I'm going to move it down to this corner. But you see, I just turn it round. I don't try and twist myself out backwards and forwards trying to do it. I'll just turn it round. And then we've got the numbers in here. I think I am going to put some up there, actually because I'm liking this. Yeah, I'm, I've decided blue is the feature colour. So because of that, I am going to take my blue and I'm going to work all the way around the edge. And as you can see, that is now the focus colour. It is primarily blue. And that's just mainly been achieved by going around the edge and giving it the soft blended edge. The technique I am still most often asked to do for, you know, it shows and things. Obviously not at the minute. Obviously not at the minute. Right, so I'm going to give that a quick dry because it still feels a bit damp there. So before I start going on with my stamps. So again, yeah, so you can see, you know, make these back in, make yourself some backing papers. Cut yourself some up, or even just do them on A4 sheets. And then you can cut them up to whatever you want when you need them. Rip them up, use them in your art journal. And all that jazz. Okay, so where's the piece of paper I had when I was stamping? There we go. Right, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the under construction set here. And with our under construction set... We have this little thingy at the bottom, which has got a spanner and some cogs and under construction. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the corner, and as you can see, it is not the first time I've done that. Okay. <laughs> I think I've just dropped my stamps. No, it's okay. I've got them. Okay. So this is me trying to use the right block, side block for everything. Will it fit on there? No, it won't. So I've got them. All right, so I'm going to put, so this is the second biggest block because it's just a bit too big to go on to the, what I refer to as the everyday. 
Okay, so I'm going to ink up the cogs and we're going to put them in that corner. Awesome. And then we're going to ink up the cogs again and put them in that corner. It's such a wicked set because you have these awesome cogs, obviously, um, but you have also little tire tracks, a little sign, a little warning triangle, which is quite cool. Um, so you've got all of these things you can use and put together, which is quite cool. So I'm actually going to take this middle tire track. And I think it's because I, I I just like this one. It's got the sort of three treads in the ins in the inside and the little ones on the outside. So I just like the pattern of it. But you do have three of the you know different different tire tread patterns. Okay. So oh, let me just have a quick look at the old comments. I think so. This morning, do you keep the two meters apart in the shop? We do. We have to. Um, we're lucky, you know, because it's just me and Sam in there and we've got um, all the gels and all the protective stuff we need. So it's all good. But yeah, we and we make sure we keep all that on while we're, we're doing orders and stuff as well. Because, yeah, it's the right thing. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do... A little border she says all up this side I need a mask or something just gonna just to keep it complete not completely off there but just to so it doesn't go on there totally <gasps> lovely and then off this side I'm gonna go back to the compass tracks I think and bring that in across there so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab I've lost my post-it notes no I'm not oh, here we go because I've lost my masking sheets so that's not very good is it but I have I've lost my masking sheets um <clears throat> but we are due some more of those in so I'll have some more soon because post-it notes aren't ideal because they're not sticky all over. Where's masking sheets? Ah, oh. okay. I'm gonna need to bring that again. I thought there might just be enough residual ink on it, but I think that was just being silly because it had been left so long. I know, so unlike me to be silly, but there you are. No one's perfect. Right, so I'm just going to go loosely round here because it's not. Yeah. Put that over there. Yeah, see, this is the problem when you use post it's not mask sheet. If it's not the right sticky bit, look at all that black ink I've got on my fingers. Um, if it's not the right sticky bit, it doesn't stick down in the right place. So, yeah, we're going to go in with the compass tracks because I think it's going to look great up in that corner. Okay, so we're going to ink it up. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to avoid getting black ink on my blending mat this time, but... Who knows? Maybe. Do a little bit more that way. And we go on right about there. Obviously, I did leave this a second after I inked it. 
when I was moving the post-it in the card. So we'll see. Okay. So we're just going to keep rubbing that on because we're not in a hurry. Well, I suppose you guys might be. But I don't think so. I mean, this is the second thing I'm on. That's got to be some sort of record. Here we go. I'm going to lift that off. Just took the post-it note with it. Blooming marvellous. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip my mat over. Can you believe when I was moving everything around? I've lost my card. That's all right, I've got it. Now on this one, what I'm going to do is try and keep my fingers off it because they're really dirty. Here's my sprayer. Okay. Um, that was a rather horrid sound, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm going to get my scissors. But I'm going to get scissors. Not these sort of scissors. They're a bit big. That's a bit excessive. But these sort of scissors. Okay. I'm going to open them up. Now, if you're going to do this, please be careful. If you can't be careful, don't do it. Okay, because I do not want to be held responsible for you doing yourself a mischief. I don't mind being responsible for doing myself a mischief. But, you know, healthcare professionals are under enough stress. They don't need you going in there. Well, Beth from Be Crafty told me to open up my scissors. Okay. I'm going to go through. And if it rips it, so be it. Quite nice, adds to the effect. Okay. So this would make a really nice journaling page too. Or if you're working on through um old pictures and scrapbooking in, you know, you visited places like um the motor museums and whatever. They'd be quite nice for those. Or even places like the think tank for the construction stuff. That'd be cool too. Um, but I think the tyre tracks and the compass tracks are really, really good to travel type stuff. So. What we're going to do is we're going to stick that on there. See, I feel like I should check the comments again. But, you know, I, I can see Jan ran away and then came back. And God knows what sort of havoc she's now creating. Right, so I'm going to put on these. So again, if you are watching on YouTube later, I apologise for all the random comments, but you will be able to still find the video on Facebook if you want to know who I'm responding to. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to put this on 3D phone. You can see I've got ink everywhere. This is why I'm trying to be better in stamping on card because I get black ink absolutely everywhere when I use it and it's a nightmare. Nightmare. Um. I'll put that direct onto my 8 by 8 Okay. And then I'm going to add in some words. Okay, so I'm going to go back to, I think I'm going to go for my XL this time. So I am actually being good. I'm using the right size one for the right size project, aren't I? At the minute. Anyway, so I'm going to... Use one of the big ones, I think. No. Just, just saying that I may have already lost the card I made first. I mean, how? How do I do this? Oh, here we go. So I used imagination the first time. This time we might go for a nice inspiration right across the middle. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. 
So I've got some in my white card sheets. <clears throat> Imagination card, that black and white one. That, I've got to be honest. My favourite thing I've made this week. It was on the Tuesday, but still. Okay, so where is my border block that I was using for words? See, I told you this whole tidy desk nonsense wouldn't last very long. And even when it even when it does, I still can't find anything. You know. Stuff still evades me, even when the desk is tidy. So, inspiration. I'm going to put that on tour. Here. Now, am I going to make this layer coloured, or am I going to do it white and put it on coloured card? just an awesome font it's just an absolutely awesome font i love it okay <clears throat> sorry i was just checking comments i went quiet didn't i um if you do like this font um it's not on the wednesday well this week but just in case you do um there is a typewriter alphabet um as well but the creativity words i have to say are most useful um, Sam and I use them a lot um, in our journals as well because you've got everything you need there when these when the creativity learned words were launched I have to say Sam and Dave Bradford had a, a little, bit, little bit of naughty cheekiness um, coming up with all sorts of different words you could make from the creativity words they thought themselves most humorous for example one of their ideas right was to take the t or any of the t's put it on the beginning and make tartistry you know and that for whatever reason proper made them chuckle the pair of them okay <clears throat> So, oh, you've just said it on the comments. <laughs> yep, that's the one. See, we all remember, Sammy. You being childish, because, like, I would never, ever do that. Right, I am actually going to leave that in white. So this sort of, well, I know the background isn't clean and simple. I know that's typical bevness. But... You can have both, can't you? You can have that sort of... Look at that. It's exactly the width of my foam pads. Exactly as I planned. <clears throat> um, you can have both, can't you? You can have that sort of... All in it to win it sort of background. And then sort of make it clean and simple. And then... Oh, that's upside down. That's because I was reading the comments. I was trying to side eye the comments. Right, okay. Inspiration. Across there. Okay. So, with your backgrounds, you can either go clean and simple or lots of mess. But so it's. That I think that's what's so good about the compass tracks. You can use it as a part of a background paper. You can use it as a complete background paper by itself. So don't be intimidated by the scale of it. Because its scale actually opens up. And you can see how well it's stamped. And that's using the Super Skinny Slim. Um, so, you know, because I can have that little bit of flex. Which is why we have them. Um, 
you know, like I was saying last week, I do still use my slims as well as my super skinnies, but we don't do a super skinny for this, for, sorry, we don't do a regular slim for this size of stamp because you do need that little bit of flex. You do need to be able to just gently lift the corners to get that pressure in the middle. Um, so if it, it will be a super, the super skinny 210 by 160, I think Sam said, to go with um, your compass tracks. Okay, but let's go again. Okay, we're going to do one more. Um, because with the creativity words, and again, you can do this on any scale. I'm just going to grab another one of these strips. Honestly, they're worth the weight in gold. I can't wait till I can get back out to the strip. Right. So I'm just going to fold this in half. Okay. I'm going to have to try and get some of that black ink off my hands. Just bear with me a second. Okay. Right, because we're going to use the small creativity words, the sentiments, the small creativity words. And the, the problem with this is we've called them small, which, in all honesty, we shouldn't have done. And the reason we shouldn't have done is because they're regular. They're just regular size. They're not small. Um, and this is XL. Um, so, yeah, I do feel like we shouldn't have called them small because they're not actually small. They're just regular right right regular um so so when i'm cutting layers for these like what i do is i fold another one in half like so and then i take a centimeter and a half Oh no, I'm only going to take a centimetre this time. Off the crease. And then take a centimetre off the side. And there we are. Layer. Okay. It's one of the reasons I don't know what size card I use. Because I do layers like this. I don't know. I just take the sides off. Alrighty. Because it doesn't actually matter. Right, I'm going to grab a super skinny, not that one. Okay, that is not the only super skinny I've used this evening. So where have I put the others? And I don't know why I turned into Dracula from Hotel Transylvania either. Here we go. So I'm going to take that off my end of construction. And give that a quick wipe off. Righty. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to lay out my creativity words, hopefully in a straight line. Now, what you could do if you were being organised which obviously I am all the time, is take all these off. Or if you have your your laminate, you could do it this way as well. Okay. So I'm going to take all these off. Because I want to do this as a background. Now, whereas when I'm doing my small world words, I'll just roll it, whatever, because they're smaller. Because these are bigger, and I really want them to stamp out properly. I'm going to put my acrylic block on there. I'm actually going to move it. Okay. Now, bear in mind... It doesn't matter if they are perfectly straight on here, as long as they're straight with each other, if you see what I mean. Okay. So, I'm going to put them on here, basically, as they appear on the acetate. I mean, it's a good set of words. You can really put them together for different things. I think they will work with your scrapbooking. I think they'll work with your journaling, your cards, everything, really. Um, and you know us, we're really big fans of 
basically sentiments that aren't sentiments you know, it's not a happy birthday, it's not a happy anniversary, it's just a word so that you can finish your project um, without necessarily knowing who or what it's for yet. So, right, okay, so I've got all of them on there. They're not perfect, but it's okay. I'm really not that fussed. So we're going to take our layer. And I'm going to ink it up. This would be really wicked for a rainbow card as well. If you did that with a sort of like a rainbow background. That would be awesome. Let me put these right in the middle. In fairness, a rainbow background would have been very cool. Had I thought of it before I started doing what I am doing. And then you've got all of your words on there, which is great for two reasons. Okay. One, if you were doing your prep boards that we were talking about last week, okay, that's a really quick way to stamp them all up. You can do that a couple of times and then you've got them ready for when you make cards. But also, it's a pretty groovy gra background. <laughs> gra a grack bound? A grack bound. Yay. Um, background. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Dee, 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 dee. The little... Arrow sign thingy, my diggy. All right. And we're going to stamp across the top and across the bottom. Okay. In a colour. I'm thinking yellow. I'm thinking yellow. Um, and then we're going to pick a word. Okay. So this is our little sign. And I'm going to go with which yellow do I want? Or do I even want yellow? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Ah. Uh. Um, we're going to go with wild honey. No, we're not. <laughs> Let me have a look. Oh, a fossilised amber. No, I definitely want something brighter. We'll go with mustard seed. I want it to be quite vivid. I could do all primary colours. Do all primary colours. Right, okay. So I'm going to go mustard seed. No, I'm just going to go mustard seed because that is ace. So. I'm going to turn it round. Do a different colour across the bottom. Not a different colour, sorry. I mean, the arrows are going a different direction. Oh, I tell you, I've been struggling today. I said to Sammy this morning, you know. Small words, short sentences. I'm not sure I can cope with anything else. Um, there we go. Now that is a cool panel. Okay. So from there, we're going to take... Some of our white card. I've got a couple of excess bits now, so that's good. Um, and this is where, I, you know, how I get the white bits for my layers, where I've chopped, chopped off. Okay. So now we're going to pick one of our sentiments. Um, I'm going to go with artistry, I think. So we'll take that. No, we're going to cut... No, I don't like cutting the piece of card first. It never goes well. Like, never. 
which is why I always stamp my message first and then cut it because I only have to cut two sides so yeah it never goes well when I try and do it first okay so we're gonna go artistry have I got a piece of card I've already chopped yes I do it on there only just about perfect right so we're going to go on with our artistry I was going to say you guys aren't going to be expecting like three projects every try out Tuesday are you because that's just I just don't think I'm capable <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's go here. We'll snip that off, and then I am going to. I'm actually going to give that a quick waft with a heat tool. Um, so on my hands, probably not the best thing. Just to make sure, because like I said, this um, week before last. This is a, a really new Versafine um, and I'm going to do some blending over the top and I just don't want it to, and as I'm going in with yellow, I really don't want it to go muddy or anything because it will show. You know, if you're going in with a chip sapphire or, or a dark colour, say like forest moss or whatever, you probably won't notice. Um, with the yellow, you will notice. This is clean. Um, it's just dyed. So I'm not using a blue one on my yellow. It also has a hair on it. Which is annoying. Sorry, this is just driving me mad. Just bear with me a second. More annoying than that, it's my hair that gets everywhere. Over our artistry. Okay. Because the thing is, what I wanted to show you is I think, I personally think, that you know the compass tracks even if you are intimidated a bit by its size which i totally understand or whatever you probably can see how great it is as a background stamp and whatever but your sentiments don't just have to be sentiments they can and it's something i do a lot with the small words is use them as a background stamp you can do exactly the same with your creativity words use them as a background stamp okay so that i'm not going to distress the edges i'm not going to layer it this is actually going to be even you could argue even more clean and simple than the other things i've done okay so i'm just going to go some more foam i'm going to layer that up Um, I hope you've all been enjoying your crafting if you've managed to get any done. Um, I know how difficult everything is um, at the minute. Um, if you can, have a go at the challenge because you could win you a voucher. So, and you've even got a theme for the challenge you know it's not like you're starting from nothing you do even have a theme so so we're going to layer this onto our card here like so and then we'll get our selected one i mean you could put these in a different order if you wanted to i mean i know i've said put them in the same order as the acetate but that's just because that's easier you can mix them up obviously of course you can right artistry and that is wicked because again you could change the colors you could mix it up you could use dinkables on the edge you know or your inkables of course you know any of your stamps what <clears throat> you could use to create a border like border stamps for example you doodle art borders they'd be pretty okay so with your creativity words it's not just 
adding in the word that makes them so useful. It is, sorry, excuse me, it is also, reaching across, I am sorry, um, you're using them as a background and then creating a feature piece, okay? So, right. So just shall we shall we do a little recap? A recap a Rooney, a recap a Rama. Recapa, recapinator. Yeah. Right. So we have these are the three cards we have made this evening. Okay. Um so yes, yeah, Sam selected these for me because she wanted to for me to have a go at something more monochrome, clean and simple, um, which I think I've done. You know, this one obviously created a bit of background. You know, I'm still me, um, <laughs> but you know, you, you can see using like for example, I can put them side by side. Would you be able to see better if I put them side by side? I'm always worried in case they're not. You know what? I'm going to take that out of the way. Let's see. Let me just move some of these stumps. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's the order I made them in. Okay. So you can see the creativity words um, and your compass tracks and under construction go together really really well okay but what i do want you to see is that they these will work so well with all the other stamps not you know your bee crafty stamps of course but other stamps in your collection because the creativity words are just so useful and they've got they're a little bit funky with their lower cases but they you know they're not too scrolly but they're not completely cold either. And I think that way they do, you can use them for any project, whether you think it's more masculine based or feminine based. I've got to be honest, not that I ever think of projects in those terms because I'm usually, I'm in my journal or, or whatever. And, <clears throat> you know, when I have a little girl that likes to wear Velociraptor socks with her tutu, I don't really think of things in masculine and feminine terms anymore <laughs> because you can't. Okay. But it is, it is just one of those. But, you know, you could take something like this. If you like the layout of that, but you'd like some colour, there's no reason you can't do some of this inky background and then do it like that. Um, you know, you could add in the compass tracks behind this in a much lighter tone. You could add that in behind there in the yellow. Do you know what I mean? I know I've stamped it a couple of times in black here, but that's because I really wanted you to see how well it stamps out, even though it's a big stamp. Okay, so it's just a case of really having to play with them, having to think about them. Okay, and and again, these will work really good not only with your cards, of course, but your art journaling pages and your scrapbooking. So I think I've rabbited on quite enough for one night. Um, oh crikey, it's five past nine. Um, so yeah, so like I say, Sam and I have already loaded these stamps. And I'm talking the regular size, the XL of the Creativity Words, the Compass Tracks and the Under Construction. These have already been loaded for tomorrow's Wednesday Wow. Okay, so you guys that have joined us tonight, you get first dibs, basically. Um, and they're at 40% off with free P and P. A couple more notices to give you um, before I go away. Um, in case you missed it, the Journaling Girls show that was supposed to be on last month will be on Friday. I will be Skyping into the studio. That's at 10am. Um, this video will be on the Facebook page and also will be uploaded to YouTube. If you could subscribe to us on YouTube, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and also make sure you're following the Instagram profile and all that sort of thing. Um... Yeah, because I might get Sammy to do a giveaway at some point, but I don't know which platform she'll do that on, so just make sure you're you're everywhere. And please, 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 one, have a go at the challenge. It's got you, give you a great leafman off point, all the colours of the rainbow. There you go. Amazing. Okay, and two, um, it doesn't have to be for the challenge. If you are making stuff using Bee Crafty stamps, please make sure you share it in there, um, because we absolutely love to see it. 
we absolutely do um so there you go sammy's putting on the links now if you need them um and with that in mind i think that's me signing off for the night so thank you very much for joining me guys and oh i'm doing a live tomorrow in the crafting together if you are in there all right guys bye